finally furnished um, it's actually been furnished for quite a while now I can never time it right to have like just enough lighting to get it done there was always essentially what I'm getting at is there was always a reason for why days would go by and I still haven't recorded this video so I'm happy to finally be recording this for you guys and just get back into the swing of uh, recording videos now that everything is furnished have a little bit of a backdrop um so yeah i'm excited but if this is your first time welcome my name is gabrielle i also go by gaby and here on the channel we are miss gch and i just recently moved to virginia and i am super excited to show you guys my apartment so i did do an empty apartment tour if you watch my moving day vlog um it's a part of that so if you want to see what it looks like empty which to me, honestly, it's not much different than what, it, okay, I'm not saying I don't have stuff in here. I have stuff in here, but I'm saying you'll get the gist of the apartment if you watch this. But if you wanna see my moving process and all that jazz, then go check out that video. Um, the last thing I wanna mention before I take you guys around is that there were a lot of items that I ended up purchasing um, for this apartment, but really for like my future. I had been saving all year and I, um, Decided to go ahead and purchase some things that I've been wanting for a while. Um, so I will do my best, my absolute best, to let you guys know everything that was purchased. I will tag as many things as I can in the description box that I remember. If there is something that you see that I didn't tag in the description box, please let me know. Because I'm already thinking about how much of a task it's going to be to tag everything because I went to several different websites. Um, most of my shopping was online, um, obviously, because of the pandemic, but also just because they had the best deals. Okay, so with all that said, I am super excited to show you guys my apartment, and yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> also recording this while I'll show you guys everything so this could get interesting just stick with me so this is the front door um, you walk in and it opens up into pretty much the living room dining room kitchen um, it's all kind of like an open space okay so if you've been following me for a while have been with me since Columbus you remember this light was actually in my bedroom but you'll see in a little bit that I actually have a light in my bedroom so I went ahead and put this one out here which works perfectly because there's a switch here um, where if you plug it in I can control it with the switch so that's really convenient and there's no other real light specifically for the living room so that works out so um, I have it here and um, I put the clock that I used to have on my TV stand on here I have this candle from Bath and Body Works the scent you guys is crazy amazing it's the aromatherapy relax in a candle amazing um, and I have my Xfinity modem. This little section right here honestly irks the heck out of me. Like literally, I don't like it. I want to cover it up. Um, I thought about color covering it up or trying to with this plant here, but it doesn't really cover it. And I like this being closer to the fireplace. So I don't know what I'm going to do to try to cover that up. I am thinking about getting a basket for all of my blankets, especially when it gets cooler. Uh, to put by the fireplace because this is a real wood burning fireplace but we're not there yet <laughs> so yeah i might um get a basket or something to put in front of that but yeah the cords over here are just kind of they're crazy but yeah this is when you first walk in and then we have the like i said the wood burning fireplace it's really crazy to me to have a wood burning fireplace in an apartment but this is a fully functioning wood <gasps> fireplace I have never owned one before. I always wanted to live in a house with a fireplace, but that was just not my testimony. <laughs> I was sure that Santa would have nowhere to come into my house because I didn't have a, a, a fireplace in the chimney. So I don't really know what to do with this. I'm definitely gonna have to watch some tutorials because I don't know what to do with that. But it's definitely very beautiful as a statement piece. I love the mantle. Right now I just have the vase that used to be in my room up there just because it seemed to fit the vibe. I do want to put something else up here but I'm just not sure what it is yet so we are leaving it blank. 
And then here, um, if you watch uh, some of the older videos I showed you guys when this got mounted by a company got called Pulse. It was super convenient. Um, and this is a swivel mount, so I can actually pull this out. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I can actually pull this out and spin it so it can go like this way if I'm in the kitchen. Um, or really I bought it because this wall is slanted and so I wanted the TV to be able to face the couch. Um, so I'll show you guys. I've just spun it out to the other side so that when I'm on the couch, I can directly face the TV. So it's really convenient. I really, 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 really love it. In case you're wondering, yes, that is a bigger TV than the one that I had in Columbus. My brother actually gave me his old TV that he wasn't using. Um, so I looked up and didn't have to pay anything. So I can't link it because I don't even really know what it's called. Um, I know it's like a 49 inch LG TV. That's about all I have for you. So yeah. Then here we have the living room and I'm super, super excited about this just because I finally have a real couch. Um, again, if you remember my Columbus apartment, I literally had like a food time thing that I'm not gonna complain about. It was definitely good for its purpose. Um, I got it for like $40 on Facebook Marketplace. So I have a real couch. I purchased this from Ashley Furniture Home Store. Um, it actually came with these two pillows on the ends, but I put pillow covers on them from Ikea. Um, because the original pillows were actually so awful. <laughs> they had this crazy design on them and it was really weird. But yeah, this is my couch. It is like 86 inches or something like that and I super, super love it. I especially love the high um, armrests um, and the high back. It's super, super comfortable when I'm on it for long periods of time and it's long enough for me to like stretch all the way across and I've taken naps on here. I can sit up and um, like just be on my computer on here. So it's really convenient. This used to be my office chair um, and it's just not conducive at all for an office chair, but I also don't really like it in here. I just can't get rid of it yet uh, or I haven't decided to get rid of it yet. So it's just not floating here because it's honestly not a part of my color scheme at all. Like the green does not fit with this. It could because it's kind of like all like muted neutralish tones, but yeah, not feeling this. If it got reupholstered, I'd be totally down with keeping it, but that's a lot. And yeah, I just don't have that in me. So I probably end up selling this. I really, really, really want a, um, what do they call those chairs? I almost said a papoose. I really want a um, papasan, that's what they're called. I really want a papasan, but y'all, them papasan chairs are upwards of 200 something dollars. I don't know, I really, really, really could picture like a cream or white papasan in here instead of that chair, but this is what we have for now. A lot of this stuff is from Ikea, you guys. Um, like I said, the pillow covers are from Ikea. This pillow here with this like rib design is also from Ikea. Um, it's not a pillow cover, it's actually just, I just bought the pillow itself from Ikea. Um, this blanket is from Ikea, it was like $19. And the plant is also from Ikea. This is a real plant, my first ever real life plant. It's a majesty palm. I'm super excited to be a pseudo plant mom. <laughs> I do not feel official enough to call myself a real plant mom, but you know, hey, I, I'm starting. It's still alive and it's been a couple weeks. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Um, this shelf is also from Ikea. It was like so super cheap, like probably $9. Um, you might recognize this from Columbus. I had that on my wall in the living room in Columbus. And the reason I really got this shelf is because I didn't want to put a whole bunch of holes in the wall. Um, so this is a great alternative, is just putting up a shelf. Yes, I did have to put four holes in the wall for this, but um, once it's up there, I could just put as much as I wanted up there, and it kind of looks like it's on the wall, but it's really just leaning against the wall, and it's worked out really nicely. So this is a new piece. I'm actually kind of upset about it <laughs> because Ikea, I bought this white frame from Ikea, right? And it was super cheap, super affordable. But the sizing of it, like nobody prints in that size. So um, I had to finesse. So these are actually the lyrics to The Blessing by Elevation Worship, Carrie Job, and Cody Carnes. I love, 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 love that song. And it is part of the blessing that my parents prayed over my house. 
and so I really wanted to have it up and so I love this piece but as you can see like I had to use the background of the like paper that comes in the frame and I don't like it I really wish it was all white so I don't know how I'm gonna rectify that because the sizing is just so off so if you have ideas let me know <laughs> Um, these are the Fruit of the Spirit. I love this piece. This is a gift like years ago. I can't even remember how many years ago, but a gift from my friend Manny. And it has carried with me from pretty much my senior year of college on. I always find a place for it in my new house because it's just so transferable. Um, this is a picture of my family. This is also on my wall in my living room in Columbus. And this art piece is from Etsy. Um, it actually was just like a digital one that you get printed. Thankfully that did come in a reasonable uh, printable size, uh, a very flexible printable size. You could have printed it in like so many different um, sizes. And I got the frame from Ikea. And then this is a fake plant from Ikea. I love the fact that it's hanging. To me it gives such a special aesthetic to that shelf and to this area. And the last thing in this area is the rug. So I got this rug from, um, where did I get it from? Wow, overstock.com is where the rug is from. I love this rug. It's super thick shag. So it is so comfy to step on, sit on, whatever. I honestly would probably even sleep on this. It is so comfy and it's so large. And I caught it on a July 4th sale. And it was a hundred dollars I believe and this is a five by well it's almost a six by eight um, it's like five foot something by seven foot something but I love it it covers the expense of the couch it's just like a perfect little fit in this space I am considering getting a table but I don't know what style table yet so I've kind of been on pause with that but yeah this is the living room then over here we have the dining room which is actually what I've turned into my office because I live alone I don't have kids I'm not married so <laughs> why do I need a dining room so I've turned this into my office space so this is kind of like my YouTube little baby area um, I just keep all of my stuff here for YouTube as you can see the ring light is on right now doing the absolute most um, but yeah so I keep YouTube here um, I have like my camera bag and some of my like um, what's it called memory cards batteries chargers hard drive portable hard drive all that is over there and then something new that I have is a printer. I got this printer from Walmart, I believe. Either Walmart or Target. Um, I'll double check. It's an HP MV5055 and it is bomb. It does everything I need. It scans, it prints. Um, it's just super convenient and it's Wi-Fi enabled. So I can print from my phone. Um, like I've been sitting on my couch print from my phone. I can print from my laptop anywhere in the apartment. It's all connected on Wi-Fi, so it's really convenient. Um, I have this and repurposed it as kind of like my paper tray. So I do have writing paper in here, but it's really for my printer paper, which is right next to the printer. And um, this is something super dope, I don't know if you guys know about, but HP has this thing called Insta Ink. And um, it's like a subscription service, but it's not monthly. It's just somehow it detects when um, your printer is low on ink. And it just sends you new ink and it's only like five dollars every time they do it which is like a huge discount like this ink is so expensive so this is actually my next one that they sent to me early um but i haven't been printing a lot so i haven't needed to switch it out yet i repurposed this used to be my like tv stand if you guys remember i repurposed it in the office because i don't have like drawers or anything so it's kind of junky in here but this is like my techie one it's got all my cords and all of my like I don't know batteries and all that kind of stuff is in there um, and this one I have like all my craft stuff oh this is like supplies so this is like extra notepads binders envelopes all that good stuff and then I didn't really know what to do with this open space I have my puzzle here and um, I've already finished it once it's 1500 oh a thousand pieces I collect coins, just extra change, my sticky pads, and then this is another flower that I got from, um, well plant, faux plant that I got from Ikea. I actually don't really like it, like after I purchased it and brought it home I was like, uh, no thanks. But you know, 
we're repurposing it. It's only like four dollars. Might eventually replace it. Who knows? Then I keep my um, devotionals, Bible, journals, all that stuff um, here. Uh, in these two shelves here, I have so many journals. Then I have my bookshelf, and um, actually this is a different bookshelf from the one I had in Columbus. The one I brought from Columbus collapsed as my brother and my dad were trying to bring it in to this apartment. It just broke in half. So this was super cheap. It was only $36 from Target. Literally, this bookshelf, $36. Uh, you do have to put it together yourself, but only $36. My dad put it together, shout out to him. Then this is my desk. It's the same desk from Columbus. And I love this area. I have this over here because I don't know what I want to do with it. I'm pretty sure I want to put it over top and um, I wanted to put these up. Her name is Darren Fletcher and she has this amazing collection of women of color <laughs> in color in these amazing vibrant colors. This is totally my favorite one over here, the orange one. but. I bought four of them. She since made a purple and a yellow as well for the collection. But I want to put those up on the wall some kind of cute way. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing maybe a frame wall next to this being up on the wall. I don't know yet. Now the desk chair is from Ikea. Um, and as you know with Ikea you have to put everything together. But honestly this is so easy to put together. I did not want a regular old black desk chair. This kind of like pained me to purchase this, but I do a lot of work over here. All of my work from home is from here, and I just knew I couldn't be in that little chair for hours and hours on end. Like, I'm pretty sure I have like chiropractic level neck problems <laughs> from sitting in that chair. So I knew I needed something high with a lot of support and armrest, and that could slide from my printer to my desk. And so I just gave in while at IKEA and bought this one. I don't think it'll stay with me for a very long time um, as far as like beyond this experience. Like when I get to my actual apartment and actual house that I purchased once I have a salary and I'm done with all this school stuff, then I'll actually get a chair that I want. Cause there were supportive chairs that fit my scheme and, and my thought, but they were very expensive. So I'm gonna wait on that. Oh, I also almost forgot to mention this shredder. So working in school psych and with education, I a lot of times have confidential paperwork, materials, stuff with names and things on it that people don't need to find. So I got a shredder, which I'm super excited about because I can just shred things that are confidential. Really love that, it's been really clutch to have. Okay, now we are in the kitchen and this is where I've bought a lot of things that I didn't originally have. So I'll do my best to say everything. Um, so over here, this little setup that I have is all from Ikea. So this wooden board is from Ikea. Um, these seasoning uh, jars are from Ikea. You literally buy them and just fill them with your own seasoning, um, which was really clutch to have those. This plant, this faux plant is from Ikea and uh, the base for it as well is from Ikea. And I just have like some little ditty stuff back here um, for aesthetics, but also because there's nowhere else to put those things. This oven mitt is from Target, along with um, these oven pads, I think is what they call them, stove pads, whatever. This is um, a set that came together super cheap from Target. Um, these here are from Ikea, so they came a white one and a green one together. Um, and I think I got two sets of them. Yeah, oh geez. This is a vase from Ikea. I actually really think I wanna use it for live plants, but for now it fits as my um, utensil holder. So we'll see if I end up finding something else as a utensil holder so I can use this as a vase. Cause I would love to put fresh flowers right here near this Sweet Home Virginia sign. And then we just have my fridge. I don't know if I really need to open my fridge. <laughs> My mother loves these, she's obsessed with them. I am obsessed with them too, I'm not gonna lie to you, and they're from Ikea. I will pull one out, just so you can see. They are storage containers for your fridge, well I use them in my fridge, I'm sure you can use them elsewhere. They have this like um, wooden top that seals shut, and um, I just cut up like my vegetables and things that I use in them. They're so convenient, they were super cheap, I think like $4 each or something like that. You did have to buy the lid separately, but I will definitely link these. I got them from 
Raven Elise's channel, her mom um, had used these in her fridge storage video. So you guys know about my air fryer. It's an Instant Pot Vortex um, four-in-one air fryer. I believe I linked this in the cooking video, the uh, cook with me video, but if you haven't seen it, I will link it. This thing has been a lifesaver. Literally, I feel like I don't even need the oven. Like I so rarely use the oven because this thing is just amazing. I got the dishwasher right here. And then my pots and pans I keep down here in the storage container under the stove. I did make the switch over to the Foy Myers Grove Collab brand. Um, I love this little dish setup. This is actually a free gift um, because of my purchase. And I spent $45 on the first go round, and you get like free VIP access and all these free gifts. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because you have to spend a certain amount every time. And because I live alone, like this stuff will last me probably three months, if not more. And yeah, I got a ton of stuff for like $50. So it's definitely worth it and it's all organic and it all smells amazing. But this being in the sink is perfect. I can pull it out if I, you know, need both and just put it back in. I love that everything dries in there with the sink um, underneath. It's just perfect. I just remembered that I didn't show you guys this. So Nutribullet is another thing that I purchased with this move. I purchased the set from Target. It did not come with um, the caps that close. So you might want to think about that. I think there's a cap that closes with the um, set that's like bigger than mine. But this set that I got, which was the basic set, was just um, these open caps, but they're cute. They have handles. I got one small one and one large one, and I usually keep the new tribulet right here. Here's the view of my apartment from the kitchen. And I just, y'all, I can't tell you how obsessed I am. I'm so obsessed. Okay, let's go in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, welcome to my bedroom, guys. It's not honestly much different than my Columbus room. I didn't really purchase anything for this room because I feel like each move I invested differently in a different room. So when I lived in Chicago, I actually invested a lot in my room. So this dresser and this bed frame have been, and this bed, all this has been with me since Chicago. I don't really have anything on these yet because the stuff that was on them I have repurposed elsewhere. So it's a little naked. I need to find a picture to put in there. All these shelves are a little naked, except for this one. I think this one, this one has another one of those candles, Aromatherapy Serenity from Bath and Body Works. Super clutch, smells so good. I have this mirror here from Ikea. So I love this mirror. Um, I used to have a skinnier version of it in my room, but this mirror is so fire. It was something not expensive, y'all. And I, when I say not expensive, I really mean that because I'm cheap. And yeah, I just love that it's so big that my tall self can fit in it, can do outfits of the day in this mirror. Like, it's just clutch. And the bathroom is actually connected to my bedroom. So that has pros and cons. Honestly, it's a little bit irritating that I don't have like outside access for when I have company, but I don't have company enough to care, especially in this quarantine. So it is a little built-in pantry. I haven't found an organizational system for this yet, so I know it kind of looks a little bit cluttered. I mean, there's a rhyme and a reason to all of this. I repurposed this. This used to be on my TV table as well, but I think it works so perfectly with the aesthetic in here. And I have my organizers under here as well as my towels and my empty makeup bag. And then this is the closet area. Uh, those black felt hangers, if you watched that video of the unpack um, with me, um, I went ahead and switched all of my clothing to these hangers and these wooden uh, pants hangers. And it is so clutch. This was a 100 set from Target. No slip felt black hangers. And I still have so many left here. Got wig, blankets. I don't know, there's plenty of room for pretty much everything. Got some drawer dividers extra from my uh, dresser. So I'll put those up there, those worked really well. I also have my um, exercise stuff. So my mat and my weights are down there, air mattress. Um, yeah, everything fit in there pretty perfectly, so. I now have laundry, you guys. 
I feel so bougie having a whole washer and dryer in my unit. Finally, Lord. And I got this sorting basket from Target for like nine bucks. Um, so I just use it, you know, sorting my whites and my clothes and my towels. Works really nicely, super convenient. And then I still have storage for stuff. And then this is my holiday storage. I was so glad to have some storage room for that. Um, Cause y'all know how I go for the holidays. We go hard. Guys, I don't know what happened to my closing clip. I must have deleted it somehow. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed my apartment. I hope you like what you see. Check out the description box for details. And I hope you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.